Okay, so what we want to do at this point is <clears throat> create our um, DLL main, which is the function that happens once we inject our DLL. So you want to go bool win API DLL main. And we want to send a couple of things in there, which is hitch instance instance uh, h inst DLL. So if you've done any any sort of DLL injection, you'll know you remember these things. D word. Uh, so just move down a little bit. <clears throat> D word F D W reason. Shit. F D W reason. And then we want to go uh, L P void. L P reserved. Close that there. <coughs> All right. Right, that's fine. So what we want to do is create a little switch statement here. FDW reason. And this is what we're going to use to check if our DLL injector. So if the case for that switch statement equals DLL process attach break at the end. Um, we call initiate <coughs> hooks. Now this function doesn't yet exist. Now if you like you can put a message box A here. Box A no um, attached successfully. Now I'm gonna comment this out and leave it commented. Sorry, I don't made a little mistake there. <clears throat> Now, I've got it commented out, so if you're having problems with your DLL and you think it might not be injected, just comment that and check if it <clears throat> if it runs. If it does, then you, ha you should be good to go. And now, our final function, which is void initiate hooks. Now, in this, in our example, is literally just find pattern, but I like to call it initiate hooks because of what we'll do next time. So now, this is where the beauty of that function happens, guys, the find pattern. So we're going to go ammo addy equals find pattern and there it is what we're looking for from our functions dot h and we're going to find pattern we want to say oh actually what game do you want to hook into and we're going to go ac client dot exe <clears throat> now a lot of the times because we don't know if i've got this here yeah let's attach this again you can actually attach it once <clears throat> once all your debugs done its work uh, yeah, sure. So as you can see here, it says AC client dot exe plus whatever, and that's a hint to what uh, the the instruction is. Okay, so um, that's a way of finding out what you're dealing with. Now, a lot of the time, you get, for example, um, uh, I was getting outlast dot exe. You can get something that you can get a bunch of DLLs. It doesn't really matter. It really depends on what module is running that. So make make sure have you have a look through Cheat Engine and, and find out what's doing well. So <clears throat> here's where we're going to paste our our work really. So we've got this here. Let's get, grab the entire pattern and paste it here. Boom. Comment. Next line. So that's where our, our pattern goes. Uh, so you can see that whole thing there. And the next thing we're going to put in there is uh, is our mask for the pattern. So copy that whole thing. Make sure we don't make any mistakes. Paste that into there. And then finally, there's nothing. So <laughs> I can close that. <clears throat> so that's how we get our ammo. So put that in several lines if you have to. I think it'll look a bit neater. And what did we also find out? Well, we found out that the, the instruction that we're going to get is five bytes before the one we want. So all we do is go ammo addy plus equals five. Or you can say ammo addy equals ammo addy plus five but this makes your life easier doesn't it so and then you can say message box addy so ammo addy now if we have this and it returns that address then we know we were success successful so we're going to use that to test that and then we can go right to memory <coughs> which is our other function and we can say ammo addy and then ammo opcode as well which is up there as you can see we're saying write to memory to this address and um, write these values, so write zero, 0 times 90, 0 times 90, which is nope, nope. And we're going to write two bytes worth of, <clears throat> of instructions. I guess in theory you can say this. 
dot length maybe minus one you do that just you could always yeah you could get the instruction and the length minus one but you are probably better off doing it manually for start and that's everything guys that's pretty pretty much everything that we want in place so all our functions are getting called blah blah so save all and we're gonna test this out now and see how it goes so <clears throat> we're gonna go uh, you know click here open the folder in Explorer and we're gonna go go back one and go into the no that's not it uh, I'm gonna click here and where's the debug oh, I haven't built it yet my bad <laughs> <clears throat> so I've rebuilt this. No errors. That's always a good thing. Uh, if you have any errors, then uh, you may have made a small mistake somewhere. Just move back a little bit, and now you should have the debug folder, which has our DLL. Brilliant. So as I said, so I'm going to use this once. I have a lot of shit on on the screen right now. Um, so minimize that. It's all good stuff, and we have our DLL now, which I'm going to put away here. Uh, ignore that for now. <clears throat> so the game's running fine. We're happy with that. Ammo's decreasing as, as the normal game would expect it to. And we want to run. I'm going to run remote DLL. Remember, you can inject this through Cheat Engine if you like. Check out my previous tutorial. And we're going to go. Yep, yeah, that's fine. And I want to drag and drop my DLL into here. <clears throat> and then choose AC Client because that's where I'm injecting it to. And we're going to attempt to inject it now and see how it goes. Uh, get, I'm getting an error here. Uh, sorry, a warning from uh, Oli Debug, which is irrelevant. So I'm just going to OK that. And there we go. Oh, hang on. We got an address. Let's have a look. It's always good when you have an actual number. So what do we have? 463279. 463279. Uh, so that's brilliant. That gives us that address. And then we added the uh, plus equals 5. And that gave us exactly what we want. And then we write to memory, and boom, there it is. So as you can see, if you if you were looking here, go back in the video for a second. You should see. Hopefully, this was cap you were capable of seeing this. Uh, that the address, everything that was happening here, has turned into to no open instructions, just as we wanted to. <clears throat> so that's quite brilliant stuff. And um, and yeah, that's pretty much it for pattern scanning. You can use this for absolutely anything. Uh, the code is actually quite straightforward. Uh, as you as you can see, uh, the code is really simple and there isn't anything to it really. As you can see, like a couple of lines of code and you can do amazing things. And, and this, like I said, this is an introduction to our next tutorial, and we will be um, we'll be covering much cooler things with the next one. I'm really looking forward to creating that one because um, uh, from from this method to to using the next stage, uh, putting them together, you'll be able to to do almost anything with your hacks without without ever looking at pointers or any other that and any of those things really. So yeah, use this for anything you like. Obviously, um, if you have any questions, post them below in the comments uh, or on the um, on the subject on on the thread that I'll be creating on uh, guided hacking. Just do that there. Um, and yeah, I think that's pretty much it, guys. I I will try and make that next tutorial for next week. I can't promise anything yet. But um, if I can't do it, I'll do it as soon as possible, really, either next week or the week after. And um, and yeah, I hope you guys enjoy this. Test it out. Play around with it. You know, if you have any problems, just post in the forum. This is quite a well-known method, and I'm sure people would help out if they get a chance. Um, and yeah. Just, um, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Thanks a lot. Leave a like if, if you enjoyed the video. Um, if not, I love you guys anyway. Um, and yeah, I'll catch you guys later. See ya.